What's up, guys? What's up, my Golaremians? My Golaremites? And my Golaremi people? What is up? What is up? Today we had a crossing video. You guys have been asking for this crossing video for like three years straight. We finally have gotten together. We have the scientific method down to teach you how to cross the ball. And I have my good friend here, Ian Arch. He does not laugh. He does not smile. He only wins. Today, we're gonna teach you how to cross properly the Golaremi style. Let's get right into it. All right, guys. So there are three main things I want you guys to keep in mind when you're doing crosses. And the first one is you're going to want to keep the ball, whether you're on the left side or on the right side, you're going to want to keep the ball on your protected side. So if you're going to be dribbling down the right wing, you want to be dribbling with your right foot, you want to be shielding the ball, keeping the body protected in between the ball and the defender. That's going to set you up to be able to properly cross the ball. If you're down the, going down the wing, you don't want to have, have the ball out here having it being exposed. The defender's gonna be able to poke it away. You're not gonna be able to protect it and take it down the line properly. All right, so that takes us into our next point. So when you're taking the ball down the right side of the field in this case, you're gonna be going down, protect the side of the ball. And right when you're looking to cross the ball into the 18 yard box to your teammates, you wanna set yourself up so you can square your hips and come around the ball and be facing the field. If it's, you don't wanna be facing straight this way, it's gonna be very difficult to get a cross off. You really wanna be able to take a touch at a slight angle so you can run up on the ball and then strike it. As you can see, my hips are coming this way. And we're not just trying to strike the ball, we're running this way. It's gonna cause you to be off balance and fall and you're not gonna have any accuracy on where you want the ball to go. So really the key point there, you're setting yourself up for this touch by having the ball on the protected side. You're going, you're going, you're going. You beat the defender, you take a slight touch out in front, try to get to the close to the end line and then you strike the ball, all right? That's gonna allow you to have better accuracy. It's gonna allow you to not fall over, nail your head on the ground. Um, it's really gonna set you up to have a nice, clean, solid kick. And the last thing before we go into the different types of crosses we'll teach you guys is when you're going down the line, do all the things right, you take that touch inside. Your plant foot is gonna be key here. And we'll come in close so I can show you guys. And this is a little bit different than taking a shot because when you're taking a shot, it's less movement on the ball. You know, you, it's kind of easier to predict where you need to touch the ball. So really what you need to think about when you're doing crosses, running at full speed, is when you take this touch inside to set yourself up for the cross, you wanna take a, a nice large touch. You wanna go short, short, and then long. And the ball might be moving at a fast pace. So you kind of have to anticipate where the ball is gonna be and step there and then cross. And you don't want to lose your balance. That's why I say when we do sh when we do shooting or passing or crossing, you know, you really want to make sure you have that plant foot in place. You go in short, short, long, and then you're going to strike it. Make sure your hips are facing inward off that touch, and you're going to be landing on your foot that you cross with, just like when you're shooting. I'm going to show you guys this in real speed, real quick, so you guys can kind of see all the different pieces I just talked about. The three key points. You're going to keep it on your protected side. Touch in. Look up and land on your shooting foot and cross. All right, so now that we've gone over the main fundamentals, we're gonna have Ian show us some different kinds of crosses and how you guys can practice these different crosses so you can use them in the game. Hey guys, it's Ian. Happy to be here to help you guys learn the Golu Remy way of crossing. Now I'm gonna teach you guys three different types of crossing. And through all these, keep in mind what B Millie's been saying keeping the ball on the protected side. Taking that final touch, it's a little bit in front of you, angled a little bit so you can have your hips ready to go there, and anticipating where your plant foot's gonna be. It's really important to keep in mind, all of these crosses are gonna include those three core principles. Now cross number one, this is gonna be an outswinger in the air. All right, so keep in mind again, all those three core principles, definitely wanna keep in mind, but with the outswinger specifically, you're looking to put a little bit of curve on it. So what you're gonna wanna do, is you're gonna be using the instep of your foot, either the instep or the inside of your foot. That way you'll get that little bit of whip and bend on that. So when you come down the line, another thing to keep in mind is really to keep your head up. You're not trying to play this ball at your teammate or right behind him. You're looking to lead your teammate onto it. It's gonna have a bit of curve, so it's coming back to him. So keeping your head up, finding where your teammate is and putting it right in front of him.
to cross number two. This is going to be a driven cross. All right, with that first one, we're using the instep and the inside of our foot to really get that curl on it in the air. This driven cross can be either on the ground or in the air, wherever you want to put it. There's a few differences here. With this, you're going to be wanting to use your laces, and it's going to require you to come at the ball a little bit flatter and a little bit more sideways. In addition to that, when you hit the ball, you're going to want to hit it near the middle of the ball. You're not trying to get underneath it like you are on the outswinger in the air. With this one, you're going to be hitting through the middle of it, and you're going to be leaning over the ball a bit more. You don't want it to be a big lofted cross. You want this driven. Ideally, you'll have a bit of backspin on the ball rather than curl. All right, this third cross, guys. This is gonna be similar to that first cross we did. We have that outswinger in the air. Now we're gonna be showing an inswinger in the air with a little play on it. All right, if you're a left-footed player coming down the left wing, Keeping in mind, you're keeping it on your protected side. You're gonna take a touch inside, get your hips around the ball. Now with this cross, right, if you're a right-footed player coming down on the left side, this is fantastic. It's gonna be a fake cross. Whether you're right-footed or whether you have somebody marking you, you're gonna do a fake cross with the Cruyff, and then you're gonna play an in-swinger with your right foot if we're on the left side. Now again, keep in mind, this is an in-swinger, not an out-swinger. So it's gonna be going towards the keeper. Make sure wherever you're putting the cross, you're calculating for that curve. Right guys, this is the Ian Arch Golu Remy cross collaboration bonus trick cross. Let's do it. Okay, so this came from one of my favorite players growing up to watch, Aaron Lennon. Played for the Tottenham Hotspurs. Shout out to Tottenham in the comments, huh? Let's get that going. Let's go, boys. Aaron Lennon, very pacey winger. He was small, but he made it work. There were other players who've done this cross as well. Players from teams that aren't as good, like Arsenal and Theo Walcott. They're just whatever. But Aaron Lennon made this cross, all right? This is going to be a tricky cross to get a grip on because it can very easily go wrong. It works really well for pacey players. You come down the wing, keeping in mind the same three points. Protected side, taking that touch in, getting your hips around the ball, anticipating. The difference with this one is, it's a dink. It's a chip. How this works is you're purely just getting under the ball. You're not toe poking it, but you're getting your toe underneath the ball. So it just almost scoops up. It dinks up in the air to your teammates. All right, we're gonna show you how this works. This bonus cross collab cross, let's get it. All right, guys, that is the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe on this video to give us some support. Go to Patreon, you know, throw us a dollar, maybe 50 cents, maybe even a quarter. Just give us some love, man. Go out on the field, practice these key tips that we've laid out for you guys. It'll definitely help you guys out when you're trying to do these crosses in the game. Go follow Goal Remy Shoes, 11th Commandment, GK Goal Remy. Make sure to go out, practice your crossing, improve your game. Until next time, peace.